Investing your money into something in the hopes of getting a considerable amount of profit over it has never been easy. For this, you need more than an active mindset with the right approach. Having intermediary financial knowledge and knowing your way around the business will easily get you through the tough initial stage of your trading career. Welcome to our channel in today's video. We are going to tell you about the kind of mindset that you need in order to be a successful investor and gain more monetary profits. Before starting this video, we would like you to take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. It really motivates us to keep making content like this. Now back to the video. You might have a vague idea that in trading, you have to be a quick thinker and make appropriate decisions accordingly. Knowing the fluctuations of the market and when to pull out from a deal are the main things that a trader must know. For this, a certain level of mind presence is needed. The correct mindset in trading is one that is dedicated, focused, disciplined, confident, has no ego, has no fear of losing, and has detachment to money. For those not into trading, this might sound a little weird. Most traders focus on developing strategies in order to make money. As an online trader, if you have developed profitable trading edges and trading strategies, it's time to move on to the next level which is developing a good mindset for trading. The correct mindset in trading makes you follow your trading edges and strategies. When you get experience in day trading or other time frames in trading, you'll discover that trading is certainly not as easy as it seems. Frankly speaking, it's quite the opposite. If you can't follow the rules of the strategies, then you simply have no trading strategy. Trading discipline is what most traders need. The correct mindset in trading is what separates good and bad traders. That's why you have to make sure that you are not the one from the latter. Not investing money in good opportunities and the fear of losing them is a no-go. As a trader, you must make good timely decisions in order to keep up with the competitors. In these tough times, especially considering the situation of the financial market, there is already a scarcity of good and decent opportunities out there. And if you don't know when to grab those opportunities, then there is only a slight chance that you will make out as a successful trader. A trader needs to be dedicated. He should be relentless in developing skills in how to master himself and should have risk tolerance. Some traders love the action and thrill, which pretty much depends on their personality and mindset. Others dream of easy money. But in reality, the really good traders are those who think about how to develop trading strategies. The work should be a trader's inevitable goal. Money and action are just a byproduct of keeping score of one's performance. The trading mindset should be about how to perform the best. Trading decisions are all about being truthful to yourself. The success rate is in direct proportion to how much talent, skills, work ethics and truthfulness a trader possess. Not everyone can become a trader, and even if they want to become one, then it's not an overnight process. To be a successful trader in the financial market, many qualities are needed. These are comprised of the skills necessary to assess a company's fundamentals and determine the trend of a stock. But the mindset of the trader is more crucial than either of these technical abilities. We can define trading psychology as the ability to control emotion, think swiftly, and maintain discipline. There are two main emotions to understand and keep under control fear and greed. A trader stays focused all the time. A trader needs a business strategy and some kind of approach if he wants to have a successful trading career. The methodology and techniques must be chosen with consideration for his main personality trait. Having a subpar methodology is preferable than having none at all. It takes a long time to do this. To determine whether a concept has a statistical advantage, you must first come up with a hypothesis or an idea. Some people consider it the simplest part of the process. In actuality, the difficult aspect is carrying out the trade plan. When you see the solution to a backdist, everything seems so simple. When you are going to press the trigger, the issue appears. Future outcomes are unpredictable. You are only aware of the past, and the fear of failure sets in. This can result in you losing faith in the method after a loss and ceasing trading, possibly at the incorrect time. To cope with this, you must train and maintain your attention on your objectives. Keep money out of your thoughts as much as possible. Execution needs to take center stage. We advise that the majority of your trade be automated. Few people possess the qualities of persistence, hard work ethic, and willpower. It makes sense why this makes many people think negatively. Despite the fact that trading is not a military boot camp, be sincere with yourself 
and see if you exhibit the characteristics that will help you in becoming a successful trader. Trading needs mastering many learning curve stages just like any other difficult endeavor does. The effectiveness of this learning process depends on how dedicated and diligent the trader is in upholding his learned skills. To trade successfully, a specific number of rules are required. Jesse Livermore, a renowned trader, utilized rules to prevent himself from making risky deals. We support quantitatively based systematic trading which is of course rule-based. Executing the system is challenging since it requires confidence. It's much simpler to put your methodology into practice if you have confidence. You need to adopt a strong mentality to become confident. Recognize when you are incorrect and accept that error is an inevitable part of doing business. The distinction between confidence and overconfidence in trading is, however, tenuous. A fascinating book about trading psychology and trader personality tests has been created by Brett Steenberger. According to him, overconfidence is the worst trade a trader can have. So that was all for today's video. We hope that you would have liked it. If there is anything that you like to add to it, then make sure to comment it down below. We would be more than pleased to read your thoughts. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from us. As for this video, please like it and share it as much as possible with your family and friends.